Hey everyone, Kelsey here today to introduce you to a new CDHF Talks. You're probably used to seeing me with my sidekick Alex, but we are currently working from home right now due to the pandemic, so she cannot be with me here today. Aww. So today we'll be talking about a condition called childhood or pediatric eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE for short. You may have heard of esophagitis before, which is a con condition caused by inflammation in the esophagus. EOE is a chronic or long-term immune condition that occurs when eosinophils accumulate in the esophagus, causing inflammation. Difficulty swallowing, vomiting, abdominal pain, chest pain, and heartburn are some of the symptoms that occur with EOE, and they may differ based on the children's age. We are happy to have Dr. Vishal Avanashi with us today to talk about pediatric EOE, the signs and symptoms, diagnosis, and the treatment options. He will also be answering questions specifically about managing EOE in children. So let's get to it. Eosinophilic esophagitis is a condition that's caused by inflammation in the esophagus. It's a long-term condition, which we call chronic, that occurs when eosinophils accumulate or there's too many of them in the esophagus, causing problems. An eosinophil is a type of white blood cell found in your immune system normally. On its own, it's not a problem and it can be quite helpful actually. It's involved with responding to allergies, drugs, even fighting off parasites and other infections. But when we have it in the digestive tract, specifically in the esophagus, that's where we see there's problems and it causes inflammation and symptoms. We shouldn't have eosinophils sitting in the esophagus. Mm -hmm. 